Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, if Solomon was so wise, why did he end up sinning? In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 5, as a reward for a huge burnt offering Solomon made, God allowed the king to make any wish he wanted. He chose wisdom, so as a bonus reward, God made him extremely wealthy. However, in 1 Kings chapter 11, Solomon started to worship the gods of his wives and concubines, and even built altars for those gods in Israel. How could someone so wise do these kinds of things? Well, it's because wisdom was only Solomon's second biggest character trait. Flamboyance was his first. He loved to show off and make a spectacle. He liked wisdom, sure, but he wanted to use it to enhance his reputation. He then used his new reputation to secure favorable trade deals with neighboring countries, which further enhanced his status. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon, from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 34. Other kings thought he was so cool, they allowed their nations to become Israelite puppet states, according to verse 24. Then Solomon looked in his treasury and remembered that David had saved a bunch of money in order to build the temple. He thought, what better way to show God and everyone else I love him than to build him a place to stay? When construction was completed, he offered God 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep, according to 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 63. And so Solomon became the greatest ruler in all of the Middle East. Judah and Israel were happy, according to 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 20. The rulers of all the neighboring countries loved him, and he was ridiculously rich. The end. Except, he wanted more. He wanted more attention, more fame, more honor. Remember, as wise as he was, he was twice as flamboyant. He needed to make things spicier. Unfortunately, God wasn't really offering him anything new. The temple was it. There was nothing bigger he could do for God or for Judaism. All he could do now was sit on his throne and threaten to cut up babies if mothers tried to fake maternity. Eventually, he would become irrelevant in the region, like all the judges and kings that came before him. Solomon couldn't have that, so he started to do more and more extravagant but questionable things. In 1 Kings chapter 3, he married Pharaoh's daughter for political reasons, but in 1 Kings chapter 11, he started quote-unquote marrying hundreds and hundreds of women just for fun. He started building altars for their gods so they could pray to them while they were away from home, just before it was time for bed. He also wanted more and more money, and since everyone in the known world was emptying their treasuries for him, the only way he could make money now was to tax his own people. He started overworking them, according to 1 Kings chapter 12, verse 4, which would cause big problems later on. God told him to go back to a simpler life in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 10, but it was too late. Solomon couldn't stop having all this fun just to go back to being a common judge. He continued to live life on the edge until the country was on the edge of breaking apart. What the story of Solomon teaches us is that it doesn't matter what you know or how much you know. Smokers know that smoking causes health problems, but they still buy cigarettes. Soldiers in active combat know that there is a high risk of dying in battle, but many of them volunteer anyway. What matters is what you want. That will trump anything and everything you know. Some politicians want money, so they abandon their principles. Some people want a specific person in their life, regardless of their flaws. Some people want to help refugees and risk their lives in the process. As the saying goes, the heart wants what it wants. So what does ours want? And that is where I'm going to stop with this Bible Q&A. Why did Solomon end up sinning if he was so wise? It's because he wanted to use wisdom to make a name for himself. And eventually, he couldn't use wisdom or even faith to do that anymore. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.